Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations. We have z plus w equals 5 plus 2i and z plus iw equals 2 plus 3i. And we're going to be solving for z and w. I'll be presenting at least two methods and let's see how this goes. And let's start with the first method. So for my first method, I want to use substitution, and from the first equation, I want to isolate w. If I isolate w, I'm going to get 5 plus 2i minus z, and then what I can do is I can go ahead and plug it in here. And let's do it. z plus i times w, which is 5 plus 2i minus z, equals 2 plus 3i. So this is a very simple equation. Uh, you're going to be solving for z, and it's linear. So let's go and solve it. z plus, let's distribute 5i plus 2i squared, which is minus 2, minus zi equals 2 plus 3i. Now I can go ahead and leave the z minus zi here and subtract everything else. That's going to give me 2 plus 2, which is 4, and then 3i minus 5i is going to be minus 2i, right? And now, at this point, I want to solve for z, so let's go ahead and factor the z out. We get 1 minus i equals 4 minus 2i. And now, to be able to solve for z, we are supposed to divide. Obviously, division uh, is kind of weird with complex numbers because you can't really like directly divide. You must use the conjugate. So 1 minus i goes well with 1 plus i. Let's go ahead and multiply top and bottom. And here we're going to have the z by itself. And here we're going to have by distributive property 4 plus 4i minus 2i minus 2i squared, which is plus 2, divided by 1 squared plus 1 squared. Remember, when you multiply z and z bar, you get a squared plus b squared, if z is equal to a plus b, of course. And that's the name of the channel, right? and you get sum of two squares, not difference, okay? And that's going to be a 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 2i divided by 2, and that's going to give me 3 plus i for the value of z. So we use substitution to solve for z, and for, so from one of the equations we isolated w from the first one. You could also use the second one, doesn't matter, no big deal, but the first one was a little easier, and I'm going to show you an even easier method for this. But anyways, now we want to find w, so we do know that z plus w is equal to, what was it again? 5 plus 2i, right? And now, since I know the value of z, I can go ahead and plug it in, replace z with 3 plus i, and then from here I need to solve for w. Obviously, we did find z by using substitution, and we're finding w by substitution again. So let's subtract 3 and i, that's going to give us 2 plus i, for the value of w, and that's going to be it, okay? So if you wanted to write it as a z comma w ordered pair, which is kind of weird because an ordered pair of ordered pairs, but that would be 3 plus i comma 2 plus i, okay? Anyways, these are objects, so we can always write an ordered pair, obviously, right? Cool. So this is basically the first method. So the first method is substitution. Let's go ahead and rewrite our system and take a look at the second method, okay? z plus w equals 5 plus 2i, and then z plus iw equals 2 plus 3i. Great. Now, the second method is going to be elimination. How do we eliminate and what do we eliminate? You kind of need to pick a good candidate. In this case, z happens to be a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and negate the second equation. In other words, multiply everything by negative 1 and then add it to the first equation. The first equation will stay the same. Well, let me just go ahead and copy the second one right here. Negative z minus iw equals negative 2 minus 3i. And then the first equation stays the same. This is the first. This is the second, by the way. z plus w is 5 plus 2i. Now, when you add these two equations, notice that z cancels out nicely. And we end up with w minus iw equals 3 minus i. Awesome. Now, we are going to be able to solve for w. Let's go ahead and factor. Take out a w, a common factor. 1 minus i equals 3 minus i. Again, it comes down to dividing two complex numbers. 
by using conjugates. But first divide both sides by 1 minus i to isolate w. And then use the conjugate to uh, make the to turn the denominator into a real number. Okay, that's what it is. I was going to say rationalize, but that's different. Maybe realize the denominator. I don't know if that term is used, but that would make sense to me. So one minus i, one plus one minus i needs to be multiplied by one plus i. And again, if you multiply two conjugates, you're going to get sum of two squares. So w is going to be from here. Distribute this. 3 plus 3i three minus i minus i squared, which is plus 1, divided by, always replace i squared with negative 1 right away. You don't have to worry about it later. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3i minus i is 2i, divided by 2. And again, w from here is going to be 2 plus i. Did we find that answer before? Do you remember? What was the first method? The first method gave us the same thing. But this time we found the w first. So how are you going to find z from here? Again, even though we used elimination, I mean, you can use elimination to find z. You have to eliminate w, so that would involve uh, multiplying the first equation by negative i and then adding these equations so that w would cancel out. But that would be a very long and unnecessary, in my opinion, because you can just find z by substitution, right? So let's just consider one of the equations. Doesn't matter which one. Let's just go ahead and do the second one because we used the first one before so now we're going to replace uh, w with 2 plus i and then from here we can solve for z let's go ahead and simplify this 2i plus i squared which is negative 1 equals 2 plus 3i now z is going to be 2 plus 1 and then 3i minus 2i is going to be 1i and that will be the value of z so we do know that w is equal to 2 plus i and z is equal to 3 plus i so again, our ordered pair, z comma w, and I don't know why z goes first, doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be alphabetical, I guess, is going to be 3 plus i comma 2 plus i. All right? So now let's consider an alternative method for this one. I, even I said at least two, that means we can introduce more than two. But really quick, uh, I just want to pick your brains on this. Hopefully you'll let me know. Do you think there is another method I mean, obviously, as I said earlier, you could go ahead and eliminate W, multiply this by negative I, so on and so forth. But do you think there is another method besides what we did? Can we add these equations? We're going to get 2Z. Oh, yes. I do know of a method, but guess what? I'm not going to say it, so hopefully someone will mention this in the comment section down below. But if you can find it, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.